Well, when I'm filming this, it's it's actually December 28th, and you can see that all of my Christmas decorations are still up. And where normally we would keep them up probably well into the new year, just because I like to, we've actually been enjoying them now for about two months. So I'm excited to kind of refresh the house, just have a clean slate, and just run into 2021 feeling really, really great. So I thought it would be fun to do a refresh my home for the new year, take down the Christmas decorations, shop my house, move decor around, and then maybe introduce some of the other like thrifted finds and flea market finds that I've had in storage that I haven't ever found a home for in my house, but I love. So we're gonna kind of refresh with what I already have and it should be really fun. So first step, I have to deck down all of these Christmas decorations. The stars, the tree, the mantle, the breakfast nook, the chandelier I made, all of that has to come down, which I think would, um, it's not gonna take very long, but we will find out. Did you say Happy New Year? Are you gonna help? Okay, let's do it. Since I'm gonna be organizing the storage unit and all of this Christmas stuff is obviously going in the storage unit, I wanna be as organized as possible. So I've got these clear bins and I even got more clear bins from Ikea. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do for probably the next hour. good forever. I think I've heard that. So that's good. We can use them next year. This tree is the best tree. I know we had like a huge tree debacle with mine being on order for so long and not coming. And then I got this one from Target. It's the best tree. It just like hooks in and lights up. You don't have to find the cord. It's beautiful. So looking for a tree for next year and you want to do a faux tree, this is the tree you should do. So it is officially the next day. I spent the rest of the day yesterday and evening just packing everything really well and organizing it. And then we took all of the Christmas stuff to storage. So now we can decorate and play around with the whole house. I've got all of this stuff to play with. And we've got so many areas in the house that I wanna kind of like just zhuzh up. Whole entryway, the bookcase, the new entryway table too. These are new things that have been brought into the house. Also the coffee table, the pillows on the couch, how that looks, the whole mantle. Also into the kitchen and into the, like really the breakfast nook area. Cause a lot of that was more like holiday decor. But we just kind of have some fun. So I definitely want to start in the entryway. And there's a few things that I definitely took out of this area that I want to put back. I had this rug here. A runner just works best in this entryway and the bench under the windows I loved. So we're gonna bring that back in here and then see how the rocking chair and the lamp kind of work with that. I like to start with a clean slate because otherwise I'm too influenced by what's already here. If you guys are looking for good rug pads, this is a really good one. I'll link everything that I'm decorating with that's available, that's not thrifted obviously, that I haven't found at thrift stores. Kids, like, keep it up. And I love this rug. It's just like super chunky knit and natural. It's got some like warm gray tones in it, which really complement everything that I usually do in the house and decorate. So I love this rug. And then we'll put this DIY bench that I made. It's like a mid-century modern style slatted bench that I did a while back. I actually wish I would have made it a little longer 
like this way but it may work in our favor because we have the rocking chairs now so maybe we can figure that out now what <laughs> i love this like lantern style light so much during the holidays that i'm like i'm definitely keeping that out year round and obviously the furbo always needs a permanent place right here to kind of cover the cords i have these two planters with these snake plants in them and i do like that they cover the cords really well this one i also have this ladder I usually have it over there, and then for Christmas I moved it over here behind the tree. Let's see what it looks like over here. Yeah, I definitely like it over here best. I like that this is high, and then the bookcase on the other side is high, so it kind of like helps to balance the room a little bit. Let's try these over here. And then the chair next to the little light. But it blocks this whole thing. That doesn't work. Chair has to go on the other side. I guess the chair could work for now here. It's not my favorite. Love the cozy kind of colors in this throw. So I'm thinking I can put that back here. And we have the floor lamp still that used to also be in a little seating area. I was thinking it might be really nice to have a light here. Like when I sit here on the couch, I can turn on a light and have it instead of sitting all the way over there by that table lamp. But they're a little bit different in style. Doesn't hurt to try. It's kind of nice. It's not in the way either. Like we can still open the door and it's not, it's not obtrusive. Now for my favorite area to decorate. I love decorating this bookcase. So I've got all these great vintage books. These are just some of them. Look how pretty they are. I've just been collecting pretty covered vintage books in like poetry and art and I love the color palette. This is the same place that I had them for the holidays too. It's just so pretty. And I like to do a combination of them standing and then use something unusual as like a bookend, somewhat like something like this. Also, I told myself I have got to find a place for these beautiful paintings. These are like my favorite flea market find that I've ever found. They're a set of these two pieces of art. I believe that they're of Paris. At least that's what I'm telling myself. I think it says Paris, so I'm going with it. But I really wanna incorporate them somehow here. And there's this little skinny wall. I kinda love them. <laughs> can you guys come hold them for me so I can stand back and see? <laughs> I need help. Yeah, it's happening. I'm hanging them. Another option was for me to hang one like here on the bookcase, like up above. I feel like this looks really good. I love them. I love them. I love them. Look how cute and we'll put more vintage books down here this is also the same i really liked how i did the christmas kind of setup not ready for that to be over yet <laughs> also like to lay down books so i'll kind of bring in some more black element with this book this is a decade of art and architecture it's like just pretty books so when you find pretty books get them i know it's not for everyone decorating with books but i love it so I'm not ready to change it anytime soon. Up here we need some height. I had this. This was one of our baking soda paint bases that we made and I love its kind of organic kind of shape and it's neutral color so. And my bookcases would not be complete without brass candle holders. <laughs> Tall one. I also love when I find the ones like this with the handle like you, I guess you would carry them back then. Uh, I think that they just add like a different kind of shape. And for height, we'll add some of these dried flowers. I dried these out myself. I really like to decorate with eucalyptus, but I can't really find it in the winter time. I also have tons of options for taper candles. The deep green ones that I use for holiday, which still totally go. I really got these because we can totally use them year round, but I got some new colors. So I was at Rolling Greens, maybe when I was finding some Christmas stuff and they had just put out this whole display of beautiful taper candles. So I got this color, beautiful. I love them. They're more of like a cylinder type taper. Instead of like the deep green, I got this sage green color. 
<laughs> look at that. They're so dramatic and tall. Oh, look, there's so much sage in the pictures too. And here, I think it needs something like low and wide because everything's feeling very like tall and skinny. Maybe this guy? This was also one of these. I have some of these like beads and such that I got from the flea market. Here. I feel like it's missing something back here. A little bit of height. I'm also a big fan of like layers and things. So I know for some, like this may be a lot of stuff. For others, this may not be enough. So it depends on your style. Down here, I don't think we need a lot. I like to create things in like threes or little collections of stuff. Cute. And then needs one more piece. Pretty. So it's like a little collection of, of things together. Okay, the bottom shelf is always the hardest for me. <laughs> I get to the bottom and I'm like, what do you put on the bottom shelf besides like a little basket or, you know, something like that. So I usually resort to this basket all the time. So we'll just put that down here. These are like yoga meditation mats and they may appear small, but I love these things. When I'm working like around the coffee table, I like to grab one of these and sit on top of it because it just provides extra cushion and they're so comfortable. I actually found them at Walmart, but I don't like to keep them over there because you kind of like trip over it. Our living room isn't quite big enough. So I kind of like to just put them here. Okay, before I do the entryway table, I want to do these pillows because it's like distracting me. It's like an easy task and I want to get it done. Of course, you guys know my everyday pillows. I love these. I wish I had one more for my bed too and I might order one everyday and cozy. So we have the linen ones that I made. This really textured heavy one that I love. And But one thing that I do want to change about this living room, this blanket. And although I love it here, I love the texture that it gives. This is actually a queen size blanket. And because it's been so cold in the house lately, I actually want to try this kind of as a textural blanket for the bed. For the entryway table, we definitely need to keep this thing. I love having this tray here, even though it's the same you know, color, I actually like it that way. It calls less attention that there's a tray on the table for our keys and stuff. So I have loved this thing here. So it definitely needs to stay somewhere. Here are the things that we have left. So we can definitely put the basket back underneath. Some, the same books, we could do the books. Maybe we could do just one of the vases, maybe like, like bring the green in somehow. And originally I styled it for like Christmas and I had the candle, the taper candles. I wasn't lighting them because I was so scared that they would tip over and then fall into the couch. So it doesn't really make sense to put those back on here. This is one of the new books that I got. I love this book, Living With Nature. It's so pretty. I've already read it. Just really simple. Making a mess with the dried flowers. Definitely put this basket back. It's kind of nice to have, I like having something for shoes here. Romeo takes his shoes off at the front door, so. I have this candle. I don't even know I had this. White amber? Oh, I got this at Ross for some sale. $5.49. <laughs> this smells so good, look how pretty. Always make sure you're cutting your wicks, guys, to a quarter of an inch so that they're burning properly like that. Here on the mantle, I want it super simple. I have another one of these baking soda paint bases. So we could do that. And then bring in some more of the brass elements. So brass candle holders with the same kind of palette. So the sage green candle and then a ivory candle. I like the difference in shape too, because this shape is more rounded, and then the bottom of this one is square. So, coffee table. I mean, obviously I always put books on the coffee table, so these were already on there. I actually just have a few more. I just have these colors. I like this green, because it matches the sage green that's up there in the taper candles, and it kind of pulls from there. is 
not really working out for me. It's like a lot of little pieces. It's not, something about it is off for me. I like having these things here. I like a candle. I like having these, but it's just a lot of little pieces. Something about it is off for me, but we'll revisit it. Okay, so oh, it leaves daylight so fast right now. I can't wait until it gets dark at like seven instead of three. So in here, I already put back the chandelier, but I need something for the center of the table for sure. And then this needs some tender loving care. And this is empty. <laughs> My pasta's empty. Well, big jar for not a lot of pasta, but that's okay. So I usually just have three of them and then all of these are fine where they are. I didn't move any of this for holiday. I just kept it the same because we obviously use this a lot. Okay, and then the bottom shelf and the top shelf is usually where I have some little bits of decor. I have some of my pretty ceramics and then these amber bottles that I have in here. When I found this at the flea market, I loved it. When we redid this space, I knew I was like, this is going in my little breakfast nook on my pantry. I love skinny neck pottery like this and ceramics, oh, it's so pretty. So I think I just had it here, kind of collaged with these guys right here. And then these amber glasses I had on this side. And I did have a bowl that went here that had some stuff in it, but I styled it in another room. Oh my gosh. These were more recent finds. Look how pretty this picture is. It's just like sideways. It's so cute. I actually got this one to hold my Nespresso, but it was kind of hard to get them out. So I kind of had to change, change courses a little bit. Look at the lid on this and how it ties in with the amber. I love this. And then we could put, I could put like tea or something in here for storage. And then here, a little bit of greenery up here. Just pretty. Ugh. Since we've put this pantry in here, we've actually used it so much. So I use the bottom a lot for storage, for dry goods and, you know, oatmeal and dry goods, things like that. And then all of this used to have to be in our cabinets over there. I know a lot, I put a lot of decorative stuff on here just now, but you know, if we need the more storage, we'll kind of like, I can always reconfigure that. And for the table, I don't have any fruit right now, but this is what I usually have on the table. Cute. This was easy to kind of put back together. enjoyed revamping my home with me for the new year. It was so much fun. I love just kind of playing around, seeing what I have, moving stuff around my house. And of course that's an ongoing process. I'm gonna do that all the time <laughs> as I make new stuff, as I find new things. So I feel like it's fun when you can kind of shop your own house and just move things around and make the space feel like all new, so to speak. It just like feels like a new space. I'm so excited for 2021, just in general, coming out of a year like 2020 into 
just optimistic about the new year and I already have so many amazing things planned that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload. I will be announcing a lot of things coming very soon here on YouTube and on Instagram at XO McKenna. So if you don't already follow me there, you can if you have an Instagram. Next week, we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you the organization that I did on the storage unit. So that's coming soon. And then, yeah, more, more stuff. <laughs> are you gonna say bye? Why are you staying away from me? I don't think she's very happy with me. I gave her a bath yesterday, last night. <gasps> and we will see you guys next week, right, Kinsley? Oh yeah, she's not happy with me. She had a bath. She's like, don't give me another bath. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> I love you. I love you.